thank you so much, Your Eminence, distinguished men and women, and youngsters. It is, uh, well, I'm pleased to be here, but I'm particularly pleased to look out here, as every year, and see the community here, young and old. It's a community that is strong and uh, and, and uh, confirmed in its pride. I, I am so pleased uh, that you have invited us to be here with you um, to mark this somber anniversary, important anniversary. Not eight years ago, the Ottoman Empire committed one of the largest crimes against humanity in world history. And the systematic annihilation of over a million Armenians, men, women, and children is a crime that must not be forgotten. We will not allow it to be forgotten. We will, again, this year introduce the legislation. But this year, with your help, we will pass that resolution. that some try to explain this away and say that the Armenian deaths occur in the midst of war and social upheaval and so we can't really call it genocidal killing or that we can't even accurately say how or how many people die. Such arguments avoid the evidence. The evidence shows that more than a million Armenians died at the hands of the Ottoman Empire. And we have to say it. No one should deny it. They should want to learn from it. I spoke about the strength of this community. It is a resilient community around the world and here in America. And I really admire the, the perseverance that you show, not allowing the horrible knowledge of the genocide to hold you back in your accomplishments and even more not allow it to hold you back in the charitable social posture that you take among yourselves and toward other communities. With your help we will pass the shift amendment this Congress and we will establish the truth we will learn the truth, we will speak the truth. And as it says in the scripture, as it says in the scripture of John, you shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And I don't mean just you, I mean humankind. It is, it is a liberating knowledge to understand the depths to which humanity can sink and the heights to which humanity can rise. That is the point of this resolution. And uh, we will do it with your help. I'm also pleased that so many of my colleagues have joined me in supporting continued U.S. aid and support for Armenia and the people of Nagorno-Karabakh. times for the people of Armenia and Nagorno-Karabakh, and I hope our colleagues on the Appropriations Committee in the House and in the Senate will honor our request, and this aid will continue. So on this somber anniversary, let's recommit ourselves to ensuring that the truth about the heinous events is acknowledged in every country of the world, and that we learn the appropriate lessons.